after exporting this we need uh, to have uh, some uh, dimensions so we'll uh, use uh, two dimension groups uh, long dimension and elevation dimensions so let's uh, change our working plane to xy and uh, turn on the restrict snap and we'll draw some dimension we'll uh, first create group plan dimension and then we'll go on and make dimension so select the ground floor in the ground floor right click utility uh, right click and create them and group let's create another group right click create group change the first group as uh, plan dimensions rename it right click rename second group to select the plan dimension and I'll be using uh, working plane is x1 ok let's shift to x1 change working plane to x1 change uh, now restrict snap option as well let's have this uh, restrict snap option it is already on <coughs> now let's draw some dimension okay so and i will adjust the view and i will draw the dimension of uh, wall i know the grid position of the wall and i'll draw the dimension of wall so let me draw dimension of wall this is the dimension tool, create dimension and uh, add on the grid snap first position, second position and I'll use this position so a dimension is drawn right click on dimension and uh, go use utility utility move to group and move it to plan for dimension so the drawn line is moved to plan dimension uh, the font is not visible it's very very small so i will change uh, the font size to change the font size I'll use a view tab. In the view tab, I'll use font size. I'll increase font size to 20 and a uh, 5 button to update. 20 is also very small. So let's uh, change this size uh, to 100. Let's say 200. I think 200 is uh, good enough. I don't need uh, decimal places for this one. So decimal places are now zero, and uh, I want to have. Uh, I want to extend the extension lines so I'll increase this to 200 let's see and uh,
I need to increase the arrow sizes they are small so let's the arrow size be 15 if 50 is big so let's it be 13 that is good enough so this is the dimension which we have drawn as a 5 button to update it Let's have uh, some other uh, dimension for uh, for uh, uh, for window or the other side where to have dimension for other side of wall. So again, I select this plan, go to dimension, and uh, the grid option is on. This line line is wrong. Sorry, I'll select the dimension and uh, I'll use dimension line. And I'll uh, change its position. I'll move it to plan go and uh, I'll change its uh, property as well arrow size to 30 uh, I'll change its font size to 200 decimal places decimal places 0 I'll uh, use some uh, of these properties so that make it 500 uh, or or more let's say one, one meter so here I can see extension line in the previous I couldn't see extension line because I uh, after selecting the dimension length I draw that on the same place but here when I selected the dimension I extended it forward so I can see extension lines here so these are the extension line is uh, of length uh, 1 meter update the view so now we have some dimension uh, the next step is uh, we can uh, draw all these dimensions uh, as the and we can also draw dimension in, in vertical by selecting exit plane after drawing dimension it is uh, time to draw section plane to draw section plane i will press this section plane button so let's let's, let's do it uh, section plane button is section plane button a section is added But before that, uh, uh, I need to select the building object first, then I'll press section button. So I will delete this. Building object is selected and then section button. Now the section appeared correctly. Its display height is 5 meter, length is 6 meter. So let's change this display height this is display height it is 5 meter 5 meter you can see this uh, horizontal section and uh, the length is 600 6 meters is the length okay, so you can see this uh, transparent partially opaque section here whose vertical is 5 
whose one length is 5 and the other length is 6. Horizontally it is 6 and vertically along the y axis it is 5. Now the next option is uh, to change its placement. The placement is 2, 1.5, 1.5. So let's change it. So select this section. After selecting it, let's uh, find, go to its uh, data. In the data, I'll go to placement and its uh, position. So position is uh, uh, x is position is 2, 1.5, 1.5. So it is 2, 1.5. The second should be also 1.5, which is 1500. So now it is uh, placed at correct position. After this, uh, we'll check uh, the list of objects considered for uh, section plane by double clicking it. Double clicking it. Section plane only render the specific objects, not all of them. So let's do it. Double click the section. In the section, I have already a section of BIM house, so I'll keep it. It's okay for me. I'll press center option. So there's nothing to press, uh, better to keep the thing default. To add something, you need to press add button, but at the moment, I, want, I don't want to go further beyond that. I'll just make sure that the BIM house is selected.